It's a very busy day today. We have a horse charging through a hall. Um, oh, look, Colin's got his out as well. Look at that. Uh, Colin, caught you in the act. There is a horse standing at the end of the hall. There's a man on top of a horse. That's not the horse. That's the prop guy. But that is a horse. Oh, there's a stalk. What do you think about all this? Um, I, I'm lost in thought. My thoughts have become awash with mystery, and surprise, and contentment, and the joy of seeing a horse stroll in, hang out. That's pretty. It's better than most average days' work. Yeah, I mean, it's not every day. You're just hanging out with a bunch of mates, you know, in, in our capes. It's and you get crowned. Now, being of age and heir apparent, from henceforth, you shall be crowned Prince of Camelot. You get crowned? I get crowned. Um, How do you feel about that? Do you feel the weight of responsibility on your shoulders? New. <laughs> New responsibility. I feel that Camelot is in very safe hands right now. We'll now be taking the responsibility of Camelot for a while. Yeah, I, I feel safe. Um, I feel a bit more worried about sit sitting down eating plastic hog. Yeah, you know what? That stuff, and, and I don't want to be mean, but we had that at the last banquet, didn't we? We did, Weeks and ago. also it's got the same writing on the, underneath of it. <laughs> Here, you shall. I, the, the pig is my personal freak out one. That, oh. that still has the face and the ears and the nose. And that. Yeah. I still have a soul. Are you vegetarian? You. Good. No. I was going to say something there, but I probably shouldn't. <laughs> well, they won't put it in. What are you going to say? Of course they'll put it in. <laughs> of course they will. It's always it... the things that you don't want them to do that they do. Like this whole segment. <laughs> ah. What about you? Vegetarian, you're not. Do I look like a vegetarian? Yeah, you do. You have that kind of rabbit look. Is that a joke? Yes, it wasn't very funny, as you keep reminding me. Right, we've got to go. It's a pretty well behaved horse. Okay. Except for spitting all the food out on the floor. Well, I'll give him that. I suppose that is fair enough. He's trotted in without knocking anything off the table, so I can allow him a few. <laughs> The natural kind of lack of table manners. Yeah, it was really weird having a horse inside. You, know, you don't often see horses inside. Um, and this horse is incredible, kind of rearing up. And, and the, the guys who, um, the stunt riders, were just amazing with the horses. They, they kind of seem to not be doing anything. But obviously they're controlling these animals in some way. And it's really impressive. Amazing. Roll sound, please, AFB Motor, silence. That's it. And action! This huge, great big black horse came charging into this uh, medieval banquet hall. Um, and uh, it really was a moment of you don't see that every day because this horse just was, you know, trotting around indoors and. Um, you know, doing what it was told. I, Sir Owen, accept your challenge. Single combat, noon tomorrow, till the death. <laughs> Kyle 
Ludman Jones. How you, how you doing? Fine. Fine. He's a bit sheepish. Yep. Chaps. He's, he's, he's um, going to meet the Black Knight today. And he, he doesn't fancy his chances. No, I think he's, he's, he's read the script. <laughs> <laughs> He's read the script and he doesn't fancy his chances. Um, so welcome to Merlin. Um, how does it feel? Fantastic. Wow. You've never fought in Mortal Kombat before. It's different. It's not like the training I've been given. Yeah, I know. Listen to me. The problem is... We've never seen him fight. You have to quickly get the measure of him. But I have the same advantage. He's never seen me fight. True. You've watched me. Yes. And? And I know no one braver. Remember, all it takes to kill a man is one well-aimed blow. I've just appeared on set to see that. That's incredible. He's looking pretty well for a guy who's been dead for 20 years. <laughs> and if I thought I was warm, he's dressed in black. He has somebody else's head on. None of them are that fast about the king possibly being dead. <laughs> Anthony Head's entourage. Andreas, how do? Good, you? 
Uh, I'm I am fantastically well. Uh, just let me introduce you to uh, Andreas. How do you say your surname? Petridis. Petridis. There we go. Are these your diaries, are they? These are my diaries. This is my homework. Okay. Star stunt coordinator. Oh, I about that. And modest with it too. Let's, let's see if we can get that tan to blush a little bit. Hey, look at it. Hey. <laughs> the Greek look. Are you Greek? Yeah. Hence yeah. the colour of my skin. I'm still quite light though, Brad. I must say. Right. Is that light? Bit, uh, yeah, I'm quite light to what I normally go. <laughs> but anyway, Bradley's doing a very good job. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> and it's been fun. Yes. Well, uh, hopefully that, will, that, that sound bite will get in. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, just, just to confirm by Bradley, he means me. Uh, and no one else, he means me. <laughs> Although he did um, say it with a slight element of tongue in cheek, yeah, so we'll been good, mate. We've had some fun. we have, we have. It has, it has been a lot of fun actually. Yeah. I was just saying though, the funny thing is, you're going to get kiddies dressing up in your outfit, wanting to be like you. Do you know yeah, what I mean? The, That's the funny thing. The, future, the Christmas outfit. outfit will be the little, little Arthur outfit. Yeah. I'll be, going, oh, I'll be wearing mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be wearing mine out in the street. <laughs> Try to get some attention. Probably, mate. Look at me. <laughs> Somebody, please, look at me. <laughs> With a bottle in one hand <laughs> and a plastic sword in the other. Look at me. Here we go. Um, Anthony Head is about to, aka Utha, is about to take on the might of the. Black Knight. He's hiding behind a camera. And incidentally, they are brothers in law. That's my uncle. Gary Sound. Adam. Uh, camera. T. Where's Tony then? Camera team. Camera team. I didn't really know his official title. Uh, roll, please. A and B. Mother. Here we go. Look at the crowds drawn in to witness this performance. Oh. Who else we got? Let's see how Morgan's doing. Hey Morgan. Hello. Are you involved in the conversation that I've just interrupted? Um, Not really. How's it going? Kicks. Cakes. Did you have any of the soup? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Is there any left? Yeah. I might go have some of that in a bit. Um, what uh, are you doing here this evening? Setting him on fire. And well, that's a bit, that's a bit mean. He's killed two people already. That is true, but um, two right wrongs don't make a right, do they, Colin? No, they don't. Is that a lesson your character learns in this episode? Um, yes. You think you kill a lot of people? You try and kill a lot of people. Yeah. You're a murderer. Yes. Um, however, I think it's going to justify it this time. And he's going to burn! Sorry. It's going to burn. for Bernard.
<laughs> that was Merlin's uh, attempt to burn the, the Black Knight. Didn't work very well. I'll tell you when now to bring up. I'll tell you when. Keeping it low level. Clearing shadows, guys, now. And bring it up in level. Go liquid. And pull it out. Slowly down to touch it now, please. And then kill it. 